When a path is created, a colored square appears in the Properties panel next to the path name. This defines the color used for the overlay. By clicking on this colored square, the color selector will appear and you can define a new color that will be used to draw the path's overlay. Be careful not to confuse this color with the fill color. Overlays are used to represent the curve even before a style draws it, so you can choose the color to represent the curve. The path group also has a color, even though it's not actually represented in the viewer. It's actually represented in the timeline as a block. Clicking on this colored square will set the color of this block. These color selectors can also be found in the timeline. For example, if you are doing some rotoscoping, you could use the blue for all finger shapes and green for the face. In this video, we went over how to change the color of overlays used to draw paths, as well as the color of blocks representing path groups in the timeline.